everybody has their own sporting heroes. Roger Bannister, the first man to run a mile in less than four minutes. I was given a rucksack for my birthday, and along with that rucksack, I was given a little sticker with Boris Becker on it, and I think from that day forth, I started following him. Who would be your sports personality of the century? It's your call. You better get ready! Lulu will be partying with Texas and the Lightning Seeds in Red Alert with the National Lottery. And to celebrate the National Lottery's fifth birthday, it's a super draw with a guaranteed jackpot of 20 million pounds. Red Alert with the National Lottery, Saturday at 7.10 on BBC One. This Thursday, the panellists on They Think It's All Over were all hoping for a quiet night in. Sadly, David Gower's fridge was out of champagne, Gary Lineker's dimmer switch was broken, Jonathan Ross's leopard skin duvet was at the dry cleaners, and Rory McGrath couldn't get any money out of the cash machine. So instead, join them all here for another edition of They Think It's All Over. Bart Simpson's got a lot to answer for. Seymour loses his job in 50 minutes here on BBC Two. <laughs> He's back. John Pertwee's regenerating as the Maverick Time Lord in a Doctor Who double bill. So get ready to hide behind the sofa for the spearhead from space. Will the Doctor be okay? Find out next on BBC Two. The BBC brings you Mega Mela, a unique celebration of Asian cool. Experience the sights, experience the sounds. One chance to indulge, one weekend of Asian funk. Revel in a vibrant mix of colour, culture and comedy, where East meets West. An energetic Asian fest only on the BBC. Live coverage from the Mega Mela Festival, Saturday morning at 10.30 on BBC Two. Further coverage throughout the weekend on BBC Choice. The drama continues next Tuesday at 6. Back to tonight and Bart is causing trouble at school. The Simpsons next on BBC Two. An alien fact file, a biography of all the doctors and much, much more. Visit the official website of the classic sci-fi show through BBC On. Pele's first football was a sock stuffed with newspaper. When he finally got a real one, he turned football into a beautiful game. His biggest fan was Pope Paul VI, who shook with nerves when meeting the world's greatest footballer. Who do you want the sports personality of the century to be? It's your call. These scientists have sealed themselves in a bunker with walls 40 centimeters thick. Are they observing the ozone hole? Testing a nuclear weapon? Or about to be buried alive by an avalanche? Horizon, pure science, sheer drama. You'd better watch your back now on BBC Two. The mannequins are on the move. And the conclusion next Tuesday night here on BBC Two at six. More cult TV next with Law and Order, Canadian style. The drama continues next Tuesday at 6. Back to tonight and Bart is causing trouble at school. The Simpsons next on BBC Two. Paul McCartney asked me 25 years ago to appear on an album cover, a band on the run. And I said I'd do it, providing he gave me an interview. 25 years later, he's given me the interview. The Beatles, well, they changed the face of popular music forever. There's a mystery to genius. Where does it come from? And that's what I'll be trying to find out when I talk to Paul McCartney. Parkinson finally meets Paul McCartney, Friday at 9.30 on BBC One. Paul McCartney's mum once asked for my autograph. That's my claim to fame. Light years ahead of the rest. Farscape warps its way to BBC Two every Monday at 6.20. Plastic fantastic. This is BBC Two. Doctor Who, whatever his name is, he'll be back at the same time next Tuesday here on BBC Two. Due South's coming up next.
Can you escape from the master or dodge the Daleks? Go to the Doctor Who console room online to find in-depth analysis, video, or simply join in the discussion forum. That's at BBC Online at www.bbc.co.uk slash Doctor Who.